Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I have a haul and these are products that I have been picking up alongside of some holiday sets in order for me to get, you know, certain things, free shipping or using coupons or taking advantage of sales is what I would call it. So I have a mixture of Sephora, Ulta, um, Dose of Colors, and Drugstore. So there's a mixture of everything. So if you're curious to see what I have been hauling besides what you've been seeing me review, stay tuned. So I'm going to start out with the Drugstore. I picked up these four new uh, Revlon Matte Balm lip, lipsticks, lip what do you call it? Chubby sticks? I don't know what you call these things. But they came out with four new colors and all the colors looked gorgeous and I have already worn one so I will update you guys on a worth it or worthless but that is the nude and this one is called Enchanting. Then I picked up um, this one's Fierce which is right there. And these all have that minty smell that we all know and love of Revlon. Fury. Ooh, that one's pretty. And the last color in the line was Passionate. And these are all colors that I would definitely wear. So I picked those up for you guys and I'm pretty sure I'm going to like those. Continuing with the inexpensive part of the haul, I went to Ulta, which because it has been forever since I stepped into an Ulta, and I was looking for something specific, which I unfortunately did not even come out with, and I ended up coming out with a heck of a lot more than I should have. So while I was there, I picked up some Essence eyeliners, not eyeliners, lip liners. I have used these for years since I since I started my channel, I have always loved Essence. When I first started my channel, obviously I couldn't afford the higher end products as much. Um, so I would always use the inexpensive ones. And now all of a sudden everyone loves Essence lip liners, which I have used them for years. So I ended up picking up some of their new colors. Now first of all, I picked up two of the In and Nudes. I already own one, but I love this lip liner so much. This is the old packaging, which is one that I already own. And then this is the new packaging. So... I'm going to swatch this real quick for you guys. I'm sure you guys have seen it. It is a really nice nude color. It goes with a lot of looks, so I picked that one up. I also picked up, which these three I do not own. This one's Satin Mauve, which is a nice color, which is right there. Next color is Honeyberry. That's beautiful. That is beautiful. And the last color that I picked up was cute pink. It's so cute. Right there. So I picked up those essence eyeliners or lip liners. Oops, and there's one more. It was in my, my, my little lap there. This one's Wish Me a Rose. Jeez. And there it is right there. So, I forgot that I had picked up that one. I also picked up two, and only two, good for me, pat on the back, Alex, for not going crazy, um, two of the NYX Li Liquid Suede Cream Lipsticks. I picked up a nude color, and I picked up a deepy, deepy. I am making up words. Hi, yi, yi. Deep vampy color. Um... This one's vintage, and then this one is tea and cookies. Of course, as a f my Ulta is known for, everything is either touched, sold out, or ruined to its core. So these were the only two colors that appealed to me that I knew I would wear and that were available because I really wanted more of the nudie colors, but I'm okay with it. So this one is tea and cookies. Jeez. It's like Fort Knox opened this thing up. I've never tried these, but there it is, tea and cookies. They don't have that vanilla scent that they always do. And I will get back to you guys on this one, and this one's vintage. So I'll let you guys know. I'm sure there's a million videos about these, but those are the two colors that I picked up. Ooh, those are pretty. I may get, go for two more, because I really like those. 
And I also picked up my friend April. I saw her top five palettes that she loves and she pointed these Essence ones out. And I do have a lot of the Essence singles, but I don't own any of these. I never tried these because I just, they're never available for me. And while I was there, I saw two more. So I'll let you guys know. This one is called All About Sunrise. And this is definitely up my alley. That gold, eh. Uh, and I already swatched these, and these are amazing swatches. Look at that. I don't know why I'm singing. It's probably because it's so late at night, and I am exhausted. <laughs> but this one, I really do like. This is definitely something that I wear, so I'm going to try these out. So this is Sunrise. The other one I picked up was uh, Chocolates. Or as my husband always says that I say chocolate, which I do not. So this one, I, I swatched all these. But I'm going to show you guys anyway some swatches of these. And these are soft, surprisingly. They're nice and creamy. Where's the other one? One, two, and three. Goodness gracious, Alex. Get it together. So there you have it there. These are nice taupey colors. And then the last one I picked up was All About Nude. And that burgundy is what got me. That burgundy. Because I'm not about the pinks, but the burgundy. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Look at that. <laughs> you need these guys. Just by the swatches. Look at that. Yes, I didn't even know these existed. So thank you, April, for letting me know about those. And that is it for the Cheapy Chapa section of our haul. Let's move on to other things that I picked up at Ulta. So the other thing that I picked up, which you guys have seen a million times over and over, is the Lorac Pro Mega Pro Mega 2, Lorac Mega 2 Pro, however you want to say it. I ordered this when it was like the Platinum Only was available. I did not do a review. almost dropped it. Gosh, I need to sleep. I did not do a review on this at all because a few of my friends did awesome reviews. So I will link them down below for you. Um, I am wearing this on my eyes. And I have been constantly testing this out on purpose. Like I'm forcing myself to use it. Because honestly, it's, it's, it's not my favorite. It's not my favorite color combo. So I'm really forcing myself to use it to really get a full feel on it. And I will get back to you guys and honestly let you know what I'm hesitating on it for. Because it is really nice. It's not the quality. Quality is there. I do get my warm tones that I want. Um, and a lot of these colors like Penny, Penny, Dark, Senia, or Senia, however you say that, and Cinnamon, those are my jam. Like, those are my homies. And I think I just popped my boo. <gasps> anyway, um, I'll get back to you guys on why I'm hesitating. I want to use it a little bit more before I officially tell you guys either in a favorites video or in a worth it or worthless. So I also picked that up. I picked up also these. And I have these all in the box still. So I have not opened these up and played these. But I bought these before they became hyped up. Now they're all over YouTube, which kind of bugs me. But I have, I've always liked Pure Mineral uh, products. One of the very first reviews ever on my channel was about Pure Minerals. So I've always been intrigued by this company. I've always liked to try out their products. Uh, I really do like their products. So when I saw that they came out with these pure or these eye polishes and you guys know anything to do with eyeshadows I jump on it quickly so these are eye base plus top coat with silicone application tool and this is what they look like I'm sure you guys have seen a million people review these already or use them in tutorials I couldn't help myself I picked up all six colors these are just two out of the six that I could pull out of the box because I still have them sitting in the box behind me so I can try these out. These remind me as far as the finish of them as the watercolors by Josie Marin. But I'm hoping that these are better because the applicator on those break on me all the time. So maybe I can use the applicator in here with those. But I picked up all six of those colors. 
and I can tell you now just by looking at them and looking at swatches all over the place I'm so happy I picked out all the colors because I could not decide if I really could only pick a few the next product I picked up was this cargo Venice eyeshadow palette every year around the holidays I always pick up one cargo palette and to be honest with you, I got to tell you that this is probably my favorite one out of any of them that I picked up. I have been playing with this and you guys have seen this on me in quite a few videos because as you guys know and if you don't know, I put down in the description box what's on my eyes, lips, and nails just in case you're curious. And this is the Venice eyeshadow palette. I don't know if I said that to you guys, but this is what the packaging looks like. I already threw away the box because I've been using this like crazy. It comes with an eyeliner, which I have not used, um, and a dual-ended brush, which I have not used either. But if you look at this palette, this is an Alex palette. Like all these colors right here scream money. Like these are what I love in a palette like these colors are just mm, mm, they just like melt my heart look at that they melt my heart so I did pick this one up because of the color Ugh, I just love it so I will get back to you guys on a worth it or worthless if that is good as well while I am on the pure minerals bandwagon let's continue shall we this was an impulse buy. I didn't even know this existed, but when I saw it and I touched it in the display, I knew I had to have it. I have not tried it on my eyes, but I have swatched one out of the two palettes. So this, isn't this cute how it's set up? This one was 38 bucks. This is the Pure Minerals Glitz and Glam Artist Palettes for Eyes. This is two volumes, limited edition books, and they each contain 16 crease-free shades to create your own story. So there's a day, one palette is called the Daydream and the other one is called Night Fantasy. So I'm going to open this up for you guys and show you the deliciousness of these palettes. Like, oh. So this one right here is the Day Palette, which is the white one. And you have the names of, oh, this is probably going to blind you guys, I'm sorry. So this is the names of the actual eyeshadows. And when you open it up, you get a mirror here and, oh my gosh look at how beautiful these colors are and the names are also on the actual palette but this I already swatched this one these are so soft and creamy look at that I barely put my finger in them uh, this is what I want a matte eyeshadow to look like and then let's try this one right here look at that I fell in love with it and the mats in here are incredible like seriously look at those mats if only <laughs> oh I love this one oh my gosh and th these are just so beautiful this is the palette that made me buy it. and wait till you see the second one because the second one is totally Alex colors and this is gorgeous gorgeous I love this I'm really tempted to get a backup because I I have not loved an eyeshadow palette this much like these mattes really blew me away like seriously blew me away so then this one is called the night fantasy which is the black one and here are the colors about with this one this one I haven't swatched yet but I can tell you that these have the same buttery texture oh these three colors right here are my colors Look at that. <gasps> you need these. Like, I'm, gonna t I'm telling you right now, I, I cannot see these performing horribly on my eyes. Like, this is so soft, so creamy. Mm. You need those. Like, seriously, you need this whole set. This is awesome. So, I picked that up as well, and I'm already in love with it. I haven't had a palette do that to me in a while. Like, a very long time. Uh, while I was like searching online and I bought these right here I also picked up two Laura Geller baked color true blushes which I don't own any of her blushes which surprises me so this one is called Maui and I heard a few people talk about these and they seem nice so I figured okay so this one is Maui and this is beautiful this is a lot prettier than it was online because I look I saw these online Ooh. 
These are very soft. So there is Maui, and that is a total Alex blush. I really like these already. And then the other color I picked up was, and I think there was three of these. This one's Catalina. This is more like your neutral blush. And this is something that I don't own much colors of. So I figured, let's go with this one, Alex, which is right there. It's a really nice, soft, cool tone blush. So that one is Catalina, and these are pretty nice and pigmented. They're a little bit powdery, but we'll see how they apply on Z Cheeks. And when I ordered them, I got a free gift with purchase, which is nice. So I, it came with this little zipper bag, and it also came with this, which I'm not a fan of it already, so... This is the Laura Geller Eye Calligraphy Classic Tip Liquid Liner, and this is in black, so that's what it looks like. This is not waterproof, guys, fair warning, and I don't like the fact that you don't hear it click. So I'm not a fan of these. Honestly, the only one that I do own and I do really like is a Physician's Formula one, and I only use it to kind of go over my glue of my lashes or when I'm lazy and don't want to use my gel liner, which... You guys know I've always used gel liner. That's what I've always used, and I continue to use it. So this is going to go to my sister because she's obsessed with these, but that also came with gift with purchase. So I got this little brush in it, which I haven't opened. So I got a little brush. That's okay. I can actually use this for highlighter. And it came with another blush, which was nice. This is a baked blush and brighten, and this is in Tropics Hue. So this is a pretty, ooh, that's like a nice peachy, ooh, my gosh. It's like a nice, look at that. It's like a peachy pink, corally gold. <laughs> has like gold in there. It's really nice and has a nice sheen to it. So I got that free with purchase, which was very nice. Very, very nice. So, so that's what I got at Ulta. Now moving on to Sephora. First thing I picked up, which I've been eyeing this for a while, is another Becca blush. This one is in the color, what are you, Nightingale, which this kind of, the name has a little place in my heart. So this is Nightingale, and I love this color for the fall. And this is the first time I swatch it, and I barely put my finger in it, and look at that. I barely put my finger in there, guys. Barely. <gasps> that's really nice. I'm going to like this one. So that's Nightingale. I can already tell you. Light hand, Alex. Light hand. You're going to look like a clown. The other thing I picked up was this Ciate London. London. Hmm. London uh, Olivia Palermo Smoky Suede Eye Palette. Uh, my friend Sarah, Print Polish and Shine, did a whole review on these and she said that this was awesome so I picked it up and an eyeshadow palette calling my name yeah oh that's cute it has a little like saying in there but look at these colors mm, yes mm -hmm. I really like it I'm gonna have to no there's there's three mats in there so I think I can wing it so I'm gonna use this and get back to you guys on what I think about it but from what I have seen in swatches and reviews this is a really good palette and it's a nice weight it has a really nice packaging to it as well I'm not gonna lie to you guys I have no idea who this Olivia Palermo person is apparently she was on the hills or something and not a nice she was a mean girl I didn't watch it I don't have a clue so I just go by the palette itself and I also, at Sephora, which before I show you these, I forgot to show you these. Because these kind of go with hand in hand with the Sephora. Look how neon those look in the light. So there's something that I picked up on Sephora's website that I, I snapped. Not snapped, like physically snapped. I snapchatted it, I should say. And if you don't follow me on Snappy Chappy, you should. It's one beauty addict everywhere because you'll see me and my crazy self. So anyway, I showed you guys these. I picked these up at Rite Aid, and I forgot to show you this during the drugstore. But these, I wanted to see if these were kind of like what I picked up at, um, if they were a dupe for the ones that I picked up at um, Sephora, the one I'll show you. 
So these are Jessie's Girl Glow Sticks Lip Gloss. And this one is in the color Wicked. Look at that. This one is a duo chromey color. I don't even know if you guys can see that. But this one's Wicked. Then I picked up Red Dawn, which is supposed to have like a red hue to it. It's that one right there. I don't know how well you guys can see these. These are only five bucks. So I'm hoping these do the same thing that the one I paid 20 bucks does. Because I saved you guys some money. So this one's Tangerine. It's supposed to give you an orange hue. So then we got a green, a red, and an orange hue to those. So I will get back to you guys and let you guys know if it does. And then let's do the transition into the rest of the Sephora stuff. And the reason why I'm showing you those is because I picked up the Kat Von D um, Super li uh, Linamol. I don't know how you say that. The one that the transfer is supposed to change the lip product color and make it all cool and fancy and you know. So here is that one. And I wanted to see if any of these three drugstore ones did anything of any close to this one because if I could save you 20 bucks these were five I'll get back to you guys on that I don't know while I was at it I picked up three more of the of the Kat Von D liquid because I couldn't help myself because I'm assessed I'm really assessed so this one's L-U-V or love love which I do love look at that mm-hmm Mama's going to use that one. And then this one is called a Vampira, which is vampire in Spanish. Vampira. Maybe I use this one. So look at that. Oh, yes. And I would use these. I am not afraid of color. And this one, I'm not too fond of the, of the name, but I do like the color. And this one's Exorcism, which is always sold out online. Oh, yes. This one's more of a berry. Oh, yeah. This one's more of a berry. This is more like a brown red. I don't know if it'll come across. You could see it in person. I don't know if you see it on camera. But I also picked up those while I was at it. So that's what I got at Sephora. And on to my last purchase of the day. I was wanting these for a very long time. And then when I kept seeing it all over and my friend told me I needed to have it, I got it plus other ones and I'm talking about the dose of colors what are these the liquid lipsticks liquid matte liquid lipsticks so I'm gonna swatch the ones I got I got five of them and I think I'm content I don't need any more unless she comes out with another color that's like an everyday neutral color other than that I think I'm happy with the colors I got so this one I got in sand and the reason why I got this is I don't have many nudes and I think maybe I can use this one as a mixture because it is pretty light. Like that's going to be like bleach on my lips. But that's okay. I can mix that one. I got stone, which everyone and their mom is wanting. So I picked up stone right there. I also picked up truffle. This one's another, seems like another cult favorite. And I haven't worn these yet, so I can't tell you if I like them or not. So that's Truffle. And then I picked up Bury Me, which, if you know me by now, if you don't know me by now, you know I'm going to like these colors. These are my colors. That's Bury Me, and then Bury Me 2. Ooh. Mm, I think I like Bury Me 2 more. There is Bury Me 2. 1 and 2. 1 and 2. 1 and 2. So, I think that is it, guys. I think that's all that I've done in between the orders that I have purchased with all the review holiday sets that I've gotten for you guys. I picked up maybe one here, one there. This was not all cumulative, believe me. If not, Mr. Man would have killed me. I hope you guys enjoyed this haul. I will list all the products down in the description box of everything that I did purchase. So if you are interested, I will put it down in the description box as always. If you are new to my channel, welcome to the family. Don't forget to subscribe. Like this video if you did. 
did like it. Thank you guys again for all of your support. You guys are so sweet to me and being so kind and so patient whenever I do a haul. You guys know that the reason why I show you guys what I get is because I need to teach myself to use things and if I do not like them, to return them because I am so bad at returning things. But I am getting better at it because you guys are helping me out. So as always, I will see you guys in my next video. So I hope you guys enjoyed me and my craziness. And now that I have to go undo all of this, don't forget guys that a smile is the best makeup a girl can wear. Bye -bye.